Hey Nappers, it's me, Wild Neptune. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to craft and what you want to look for in pieces when you're using those materials you've used your hard earned energy on during hopefully a hunt event like the one that just ended. Anyway, want to see more content like this or just want to support the channel, a like, comment, and subscription are always appreciated. Thanks again, and now let's get going. I do have about a little over 7,000 mats here, which is an okay amount at the speed that I can farm at on this account here. I have a lot of these left over for other events and things like that in the future. So I'm going into this like you are a new player who just got some of these relatively recently and you want to know what you want to do with them. Well, obviously you want to use them to craft. Now there's no difference between using a 1 or a 10x. They cost the same amount. The 10x is just faster to do. You have this mileage here where once you fill in the mileage, you can use it to make an epic craft guaranteed where you choose your um, set and the piece you have on it. And we'll look at that when we get to it. It is very useful, uh, a very nice addition that was pretty recent actually. Now, what should you craft? Well, conventional wisdom, which I agree with right now, is you always want to focus on your left side pieces, which is your weapon, your helmet, and your chest piece. This is because you are more likely to get better pieces, or at least usable pieces, from these three because they have a static main stat. Weapons have attack, helmets have health, and the chest piece has defense. While the right side pieces, in the neck, the ring, and the boots, they have uh, variable main stats. So boots can be like speed, attack, percent main, flat attack, flat health. Rings can be ER, effectiveness, they can be uh, flat attack, you know, and so on. Next, crit chance, crit damage, flat health, uh, defense percentage, and the like too. So lots more RNG in the right side. Now, occasionally, you will have to craft the right side pieces, but you shouldn't do that that much. You should try to focus on the left side. And if you want to use your epic on the right side, you, you're guaranteed one, that's okay. Most people will use their conversion boxes to get a main stat like say crit damage or say speed for the boots and use that in the steeple which is right here to try to get your uh, main stat on the right side but of course sometimes you just have to craft on the right side too just to get the cubes in order to actually well use the steeple but for mostly for this video we'll be focusing on the weapon the helmet and the chest piece on the crafts. Another important factor is that you cannot have the same substat as a main stat. So your boots are a speed main, it cannot have a speed sub. Same with a necklace, let's say it has a crit chance main, you cannot have a crit chance substat. Same goes for your static left sides. So your weapon cannot have a flat attack sub, your helmet cannot have a flat health sub, and your chest piece cannot have a flat defense sub. In addition to this, the weapon can also not have flat defense or defense percentage. And your chest piece cannot have flat attack or attack percentage. Because of this, getting a weapon and a chest piece with perfect subs, at least in terms of what you want, are, is much easier than the helmet, which is why most of the time people will focus on either the weapon or the chest piece and then, you know, when you get good helmets, it's nice, right? Uh, for this video, mainly probably be focusing on weapons, but maybe going some other stuff too, if we get enough good ones. This account really needs a little bit of everything, so we'll see where that goes. Okay, now let's go and into our crafts thing, and let's see the first 10 necks and see what we get here. So, here we go, and it is going to be. Okay, so, we have a lot of, I'll admit, this is a lot of garbage. The first thing you want to do is you want to look at what you have. First, look at the blue pieces. All the blue pieces that are basically not speed, you can probably sell. If you want to though, especially really early on, until you know you have enough of them, hit a range and you just do this here and you hit extract. Um, extract will turn it into cubes. Normally you really only care about this, about good sets like speed uh, and then when you do other um, hunts also like immunity, calendar, stuff like that. Um, however, even these bad sets, when you have enough of them for the ice cubes, you can use them for your charms in the steeple, which is a consideration, and that's what I'm going to do here. 
Otherwise, you want to sell them once you know you have enough to get your charms for that week. But I know in this case, I don't have enough, so I am going to extract them right here. What it used to be is even if you were a like a new account, stuff like that, you would still use purple gear here and there. However, I would say that at the moment, it is very hard to justify upgrading purple gear unless it looks really, really good, except for a speed check. And a speed check is simply when you have a piece of gear with speed as a substat, like this one right here. So it's a hit set, but has four speed as a sub. You will lock it just to roll it to see if you hit speed. And it hit speed, you roll it again, hit speed again, you roll it again, and so on. Typically, I look for uh, three or four speed, especially on a speed main, uh, on a speed set uh, item. So we'll lock both of these, and the rest of these will again, we will extract. And nothing you want to be doing when you look at the pieces of gear are your base rolls. So let's look at this speed uh, sword right here, which has. Crit chance, crit damage, and health, and ER. So three good uh, substats, basically, for a piece like this, as there are a lot of uh, bruisers who have crit chance, crit damage, and health. However, you will also notice that your overall equipment score for this piece is kind of low. Uh, equipment score, it's just an in-game metric to measure how good a piece is. Uh, I believe, like, the highest a 85 can be is something like... 37 or 38 whatever um, at base which is absolutely bonkers by the way most of the time pieces at 30 plus is when you start getting into pieces that look pretty good to upgrade uh, this is pretty low roll 25 is on the lower end and that's because most of the rolls here are low so knowing the ranges of what you can get is important so for all percentage base substats Besides crit chance and crit damage, your roll ranges are 4 to 8%. For a crit chance, it is 3 to 5%. For crit damage, it is 4 to 7%. And then for speed, it is 2 to 5. Technically 5, but 5 is extremely rare and you should not count on that happening. In addition to that, those are also the ranges on which you can roll a uh, upgrade into. So let's say I have 4 crit chance here, I can roll it and an upgrade anywhere from 3 to 5%. This 5% health, if I hit health percentage, I can get anywhere between 4 and 8% if I hit on the health, and so on. Same goes for everything else. There are also flat stats, however, I don't know the flat stat ranges on top of my head, just so that they exist. Flat stats are annoying to roll into, but sometimes you might actually want some of them, like flat defense is actually better or almost as good as regular defense on some units. So don't sleep on fat on flat stats, especially when you don't really need um, four substats overall. And let's do another 10x and see what we get. We actually have a pretty good piece here. Um, this one is crit chance, crit chance, and attack. So the attack percentage is going to be a little bit middling, so 60% is average. We also gonna have a math crit damage, but also a min crit chance and be a flat health. Uh, hopefully though, we can avoid the flat health and maybe mod this out a bit later, maybe like regular health or speed, but we don't, maybe we don't have to, right? Maybe we're perfectly happy with this as a PVE piece and we just leave it for the time being. The rest of this stuff, you probably realize is not that good. Again, you don't really have to look at the blue pieces that much to, to set if you wanna sell or extract. Right now we're extracting just to use for the steeple, and there we have it. Okay, so now we actually have a couple of epic crafts to do. And it's debatable whether or not you want to use them for your uh, helmet, or your boots, or your necklace, or your ring, stuff like that. Um, I'm actually going to check see what I need, what I have. So I have these necks here. Okay, so I have like 1, 2, 3, like 4, 15. I have about 4 rings, and I have about a lot of helmets actually that potentially I can upgrade. So let's live on the edge and let's actually do a neck here. And you can choose a set. I recommend you speed set if you're doing this with a wyvern. And boom, boom, boom. You will get an epic piece and you know what? This is probably pretty bad. We're gonna keep it because it has speed on it. Um, but probably not gonna be that much that much useful. And let's do one on the ring too, right? Let's Let's live dangerously and go for the gamble here. Again, whether or not this is good to do or not is debatable, but, and we get 
Okay, well, this is kind of trash because it is. But so we'll, we'll just extract this and we can use it later. Now, let's actually switch to our helmets a little bit and roll a few of these just to get a little variety in what we want to have and we'll see what we can get. So, helmets, unlike weapons or chest pieces, you can have every single sub besides flat health, obviously. So, we're looking at these. Not is really that good. So, again, you want to check for your speed pieces. Three speed on purples is okay to potentially roll for a speed check. And the rest of these we are going to throw into the extract thing. Do another one here. Probably do a couple more of these here. <clears throat> oh! Okay! We have a pretty big banger right here. So, we have all percentage subs, max crit damage, average attack, lower health, and we also have the mid and speed. Pretty good right here. We'll keep onto this one right there. The rest of these here are not that good. That was actually a speed one. I always missed that. Be careful. Hit extract for all of these. And we're also gonna lock this one, and we can check that later. Let's use this other epic craft though. Let's use this one on a helmet actually. Maybe we get a nice speed helmet with some good stuff. And you know what? This could be... Mm, the rolls are pretty low, but it has speed on speed, as an epic, so we'll give it a shot. Let's do a, another thing of helmets here, and then do maybe a couple of chest pieces, and maybe for fun, do some uh, boots or whatever. So we have a hit set with attack, damage, speed, and flat defense. Not the best um, set overall, but it has a speed, could be okay for PvE. The rest of this stuff isn't very exciting, we're gonna extract right here. Now, I have extracted quite a bit already, so I think it's time to actually check if we can make our charms or not. So, let's just throw all of these not speed ones in there to get these done. And in the early game, especially when you're newer, getting charms can be kind of difficult overall. So once you start doing your hunts and stuff like that, actually extracting some of your pieces to get these charms and so you get more value in them than simply doing um, like normal selling stuff like that is pretty nice overall, especially since you get a pretty good amount of them. Now again, you probably want to keep your speed ones overall. I do know that we do need some more of them to get my sesame charms also. And the sesame ones are going to be the ones that are rarer at, at the moment. So you will have to uh, probably ex extract quite a bit to get there. Let's do a few chest pieces here. Just maybe a, a tiny bit. And you know what, if we're fine, we might do like one roll of like each of the left of the right side pieces too. So, crit chance, crit damage, health percentage on a hit set. You know what? You might think, who's going to use this? But I know, maybe like Red Lilius could use this. Uh, you always have to consider that even weird pieces like this can be used. Pieces that typically you have four percentage things, especially the high rolled, right? This one here is like mid rolled. You have two high rolls and you have two low rolls here also. But typically, if it's a piece of four percentage stats, that all high rolled, you kind of want to just hold on to it just in case. There are a lot of pieces that I've I've held on to for a very long time, like years, only for a unit to come out that can absolutely abuse those that substat combination. Um, and definitely, it's definitely a long, long game. So I would recommend because like you don't really gain that much by selling it, right? You, you lose like an inventory space and you can put it in your storage if you have to. Again, your speed right here for the speed check, another one right here. Lock these. Let's extract the rest of these here and move on to another one. <clears throat> do one more. I do want to do one each of the right side just for fun for the video. So, oh, okay. So this is actually a really good piece here. Um, hold, wait, hold on. We have like three pretty good pieces here, at least like potentially good pieces. So pretty exciting there. All right, let's do one each of these right here. Now, oh, also be careful. I don't know if you have like uh, other mats, uh, you can accidentally uh, use them. So just be careful. Just want to feature these. Let's see like what we get. Just to show you how much more difficult it is to get pieces here. So you have two red pieces, but automatically these kind of suck because this is hit set and you have kind of bad subs. And you have a hit set here too with a flat health sub, which is basically unusable unless you get like really high speed or something on the set. So, all, so, so none of these are good. Now let's see the rings here and probably the same deal. 
Now, of course, once in a while, you might get very, very lucky and get a really good piece. This is not one of those once in a while. Now, some of this gear is some of the actual uh, doing the hunt, stuff like that. It's not all this with stuff that I crafted right now. So let's look at some of the pieces here. So most of the purples we have will be simply for speed checks. And again, that means you go to enhance here, you grow, you go to plus three. If it hits speed, that's good, you keep going. If not, you stop. So right now, hit speed, we'll keep going. And hit speed again, we do not. So we are going to stop, especially when you have a dead substat like effectiveness here. Uh, in this case, we are going to sell them to get some of our uh, investment back. Uh, typically though, for a starter account, you want to focus on your red pieces first that you know will be good probably, more chances than not, because you don't always going to have the luxury of having the uh, upgrade materials to uh, roll every single piece that you saved up. Let's look at this piece right here. Uh, actually, let's find a better piece. So let's keep going. Oh, this piece could be okay actually. So this piece has potential. Uh, Let's go and go to plus three here and see what we get. Okay, that's a max ER roll, which is really, really good. Let's go again. Let's make me get another one. Okay, that was 5%, but 5 plus 8 is 13, which is still above average. You you want to hopefully get more than get more than that, but, you know, we take what you can get. So far, this is still pretty good. Um... Another 5%. Okay, so right now, I'm looking at this. A lot of VR. However, the defense and effectives are low. But at the moment, still probably going to have to give one more roll, get a high roll. So we have actually 22% ER, which is going to be actually below average now. Because remember, our average rolls are going to be 6%. So 6 plus 6 is 12, times 2 is 24. Four rolls, so actually a below average piece. This is one where... For like the early game, or maybe just like it's a piece overall to have, it's okay, but not too excited about it, especially when we have lower rolls for two of the other subs also. So I'm, I'm gonna just leave it here at plus 12. Maybe in the future I'll upgrade it, you know, later on. But right now, I'm gonna kind of leave it here. So this piece here, you have a dead sub in the ER, but we do have a four speed crit chance and some defense too. So, and we get a speed. Okay. Can we get speed again, maybe? Okay, four crit chance is actually not bad. Uh, this one right here again is gonna have ah, oh, oh, it gets painful. Um, all right, so I would say this is not good enough to keep now, so we will sell it for it get some more investment back. Now look, look at um, hmm, that's not bad either. <clears throat> okay, this one actually could be okay for again for some PVE units that we use. It has three good stats for PVE, and we get a letter. Uh, speed roll on the first roll. That's very good. Oh, okay. Oh, so we, 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 we're doing this now, huh? Ah, that was a low roll, but you know what? We, we can let one low roll go. Oh, okay. Hmm. Again, right here. Kind of leave it a plus 12. Maybe in the future you want to use this for a unit for PvE, something like that. Just keep it around a little bit. Uh, this one here too. Uh, you have effect this crit chance and speed. It's kind of low though. You have a mass crit chance though at 5%. That definitely makes it look a little bit better. Uh, hopefully we get a... Mm. Mm. Okay, we're, we're gonna leave that one alone. Uh, let's look at this one here. So this one's even better. You have attack, crit damage, and speed. The health is okay too. Sometimes you want a little survivability for your PvE. And we have a five crit damage. So hopefully we get a little bit uh, more here and we get a uh, four health. Okay, well, that was fun. Uh, this one here is a try to dodge the flat health. So, a four crit chance. Okay, that's average. Hopefully, we get like maybe a five crit chance. Oh, and it's um. Mm, give it one more. Not too much. Not too much of an investment. Oh, okay. We 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 get the five crit chance then. It's okay. Let's actually go a little bit less. What? Whoop. Let me pull them here. Okay. So, if this rolls into anything but the flat health, it is really good. If it rolls into the flat health, really sad. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Um, do one more time. And here it is. It's... Okay. That's a low roll. Um, you know what, though? It's still pretty good for some PvE. We can still use it. The one? Okay. A speed, a speed set. Let's see how this goes. We're going, we're rolling, we're rolling. Okay, 8% effectiveness. We'll take that. It's pretty good. 
Um, okay, three speed. It's not a two speed, which is unfortunate. Uh, hopefully we get a four speed to make up for that roll there. <sighs> Full of defense. Eh. 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 Okay. Um, unfortunately, with that crit chance roll and also the fact that we have low things, this piece is also dead, unfortunately. Uh, so we are, we are probably going to get rid of it, I would say. Um, now with this stage in the game, it might actually be useful for us right now, so we're gonna hold on to it just for the time being, but you're not gonna really be using that that much. This one here, you have our speed, we have our, uh, health, and stuff like that. A two speed isn't very, um, exciting, unfortunately. Okay, 6% health. Maybe get the crit chance too, maybe get some more speed. Hmm. Okay, sure. Now we actually, we might actually want to... Okay. <clears throat> okay. So this is gonna happen sometimes. You you get two speed rolls, but about two speed. And if you're really uh, and you're really mad about this, um, please um refrain from like breaking the phone or, the, or deleting your account over this. Um, it, 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 it stuff like this is is going to happen. Um, you know it, it's okay. Take deep, long breaths. Um, uh, and everything will be fine. Just go to another piece. And hopefully you don't feel the same sense of rage when it also rolls into two speed like just in right now. I hate this game. Okay, anyway. Um Yes, two two speed is gonna be a thing that you have to deal with quite a bit, unfortunately. Uh Hopefully, though, this piece ends up being a banger. This is one of the best pieces that I have, and immediately it rolls into the worst thing it can. It, it is the max roll, though, so, you know, it does have some potential still. And it's going to... Okay? <sighs> Man, this is all max rolls. This is could be good, though, for, like, again, for... Um, sure? This is... Strangely... Come on, please. Give me effect this one more time. That'd be so amazing. Not amazing. It'd be pretty funny. It's... Oh, damn, you know what? <sighs> Those two low health rolls really, like, kill me. Because if... If it was, like, an 8% there, this would be so good. It's already actually pretty good. This is actually a piece of gear that I will probably use for PvE. Um, not gonna upgrade it quite yet to reforge, but something that I, you know, am gonna consider. Now, of course, you also want to reforge some of your pieces, too. In the early game, getting pieces of 85 just to use is perfectly fine. You probably have a lot of kind of pieces that are actually kind of bad at 85, just to put them on units you want to use, so we don't have to swap around gear that much. Don't go too crazy with this, though, because, again, you are limited in the amount of actual equipment fodder that you have to do this. It's not an unlimited resource, and gold is also not an unlimited resource either. You have to farm that, use your energy, and the like. However, some pieces, though, will be good enough to actually reforge. So let's actually do this. Uh, now, I want to do this because there are a couple pieces I have to do for the Adventurous Path, but don't feel pressured by the Adventurous Path to rush for reforging. Long story short, you want to look at the substats here and try to see if the piece is worth reforging by going over here. And okay, you know what? Pretty high subs. Uh, you can use the gear score metric if you want to. Uh, gear score is simply a way by adding up stats. Um, so percentage stats are 1 point, crit chance is 1.6, crit damage 1.1, speed is times 2, and look at it that way. Um, if you want to use the in-game equipment score metric, then typically pieces that are 85, that are like 82-ish plus, depending, are typically ones you might want to look at, potentially reforged uh, material. Anything like 85 and above is going to be potentially really good at this reforge. So look at it like that. Not gonna go too in depth into this right in this video. I will make another one going over um, how to look at your in-game equipment score and gear score overall in the future. So be ready for that one. But I do want to do a couple of them here. And you know what? This one looks pretty good for actually PVE. So I don't feel that bad about reforging this one. And we're gonna go into it and boom. It's only a 97 equipment score. Typically, anything 95 or 96 and above is going to be something you might use for a very long time. So, very happy about this one. Outside this pair of boots here, 
uh, which is a conversion one. And keep in mind that your conversion pieces are going to be um, rarer overall for your B-Force, so you'll use them more sparingly here. Uh, actually, a lot of these are actually pretty good be able to, but this is pretty nice. Just effectiveness, health, and defense, three prime substats, and this flat attack, I can actually mod away for, say, ER or something else I might need on it, too. And perfectly fine to mod this one away, simply because the rest of the substats are so good. So perfectly fine doing on this one, too. We'll definitely use it in the future. And already, already 95, and it'll get even higher when I uh, mod this out here for something else. So I did those, and I got these new goodies now. The rest of the adventure's path is now complete. So I can get these molas, it's really nice. I also get this free five star, and it is a Bihu. Okay, a good hero actually for PVP. Won't be using it right now in this account, but a nice pickup to have. I also get this nice moonlight summon that I can do. So the adventure's path is now done, but now to close the video though, let's do that moonlight summon. So let's go over here. We go, go boom and see what we get. And it is going to be. Oh, I, I, oh let, let's, let's use these two mystics first, actually. Because maybe we get, like, you know, you fiend. Get pretty lucky. Well, that's not lucky. Uh, maybe you go on. Maybe this is lucky. Is it going to be lucky? No. Okay. Well, maybe this will be you fiend. Who knows? It could be anything. Well, any, any, uh. Okay, at least, at least it's a four star. It is a thief. It is going to be, it's a ring. Okay. You know what? Not the worst ever. At least it wasn't 3 star, although I'm pretty sure this account still needs arrow well. Anyway, I hope you found this little uh, look at gear crafting, rolling, substats, and all of that pretty helpful. Again, a video on equipment score and stuff like that, and maximizing the most out of your gear will be out in a little bit too. Anyway, I'm Wild Neptune. Been a good one. Nep out.